where, and that was in the, the late 1990s, about 2000, where metal was heading in the direction of, like, Jinkos with, like, 80-inch freaking diameter seam pant legs and wearing contacts with swirlies in them and dyeing your hair all kinds of crazy colors. That was the Corn Kids era. And that basically started right as I was getting out of high school. And the metalheads of, I guess you'd say, of my high school generation... Um, at least the ones in southern Ohio at the time, in my area, had a style of dress that was basically kind of a combination of, like, I guess you could say the grunge style and then just typical heavy metal stuff, you know, black jeans, heavy metal t-shirts, wallet chains, army boots, you know, typical stuff without any kind of makeup or anything done to the head region except for some sort of outlandish haircut, but even then... That was usually the standard was just, you know, the long, pulled back, shaved around. Anyway, that's I'm kind of diverting. The point is I can understand the point behind teenagers dressing outlandishly because some would consider my style of dress in high school outlandish, even though the corn kids started filtering in as freshmen when I was spending my second senior year in high school. Shh, don't talk about that. Anyway, and um, the, some of us older metalheads that were stuck behind didn't get to graduate when we should have for reasons that are just bullshit. It's, there was a group of us, actually. Anyway, um, we were seeing this new influx of metal kids and hearing the stuff they were listening to, going, well, wow, they got pretty good taste in music, but what the fuck are they wearing? Um, you know, so I'm not going to criticize them for dressing the way they want to dress. And for the two aforementioned reasons, either way, why they're doing it is irrelevant as it pertains to what I'm talking about which is what will come next. If some twat tries to write a, um, a romance novel in disguise about, say, like, um, mummies, kind of like was done with Vampires by Anne Rice or the uh, Twilight Chick and subsequently Werewolves by the aforementioned Twilight Chick, whose name is not worthy of looking up, um, will we then see a, our more reclusive teens um, coming to school wrapped up in Charmin? Um, I mean... <laughs> Can you imagine the conversations in that house? Hey, I am Smith. Can you? Do, do, do you know what happened to all that quilted northern I bought yesterday? Mom, I told you. Call me Amon Ra. I'll, I'll call you crowded if you don't tell me what happened to all that toilet paper, young man. I mean, I mean that just it just seems seems to be you know where I could see that going if someone romanticizes mummies that then we'll see kids coming to school wrapped in Charmin. Or wait a minute, this is even worse though. This, this one occurred to me and I, I had to cringe at this one even more so than the high-pitched voice I just did a couple of minutes ago. Um, is what if some someone does a modern romantic remake of The Bride of Frankenstein? Um, will county morticians then see an alarming increase in death by carotid ar arterial puncturation because some lonely kid tried to install neck bolts with daddy's 18.2 volt DeWalt cordless hammer drill? Um, I'd have to say, with a sad, sinking feeling, that the answer is more than likely an emphatic yes. And that's just, it's just, uh, the, the point I'm making here is that it seems to be whatever romanticized, supernatural, fake creature is popular in the culture seems to be reflected in the trends of the youth. And I, it, it, it's just kind of disturbing, you know, to me how the vampire one held on for so long because I'm just completely and totally sick to death of the whole vampire thing. I was in high school. I wanted to smack them and watch them cry in a corner. Um, but, you know, whatever. You know, kids are going to do what they're going to do. But I, I just, I, I'm just waiting with bated breath to see what the, uh, what the next romanticized fantasy demon thing is and how the kids will try to emulate it. Anyway, um, I'm Randy Ramsey. I'm tired as hell. I'm going to go take a nap. Hey, did you get all that, man? 